Hello YouTube and welcome to another tutorial. So today we'll be talking about some tips and tricks on how to use FileZilla, the FTP client. So are you ready? Let's get started. So the first tip I want to show you is, let's say for example, I always connect to an FTP server. So here I will try to connect to my local server. So I enter the IP address, the username, and the password. Then I hit Quick Connect. So whenever I connect to this server, I always go to a special directory called Movies. So I go to my desk folder, then I go to my Movies directory. So I want to set up that in order whenever I connect to this server, I get directly to this directory here. So in order to set up that, all I have to do is to copy the link of this directory or the path of it. So I'll just hit copy here. Then I go to my site manager. I can go to file, then site manager. And here I will create a new site. I will call it, for example, local FTP. And I fill the credentials for my server, the IP address. The port is by default 21. Then here the protocol is FTP and the log on type I will just head to normal, for example. Here my name and the password. But as I told you, I want to get directly to a special directory. So I go to advanced tab and in the default remote directory, I just copy the path of this special directory. So I just hit past and I hit OK. And then I try to connect using the site manager. So I hit this little arrow here in site manager icon then local FTP it asks me for a password so I'm gonna enter it then hit OK as you can see now I get directly to this folder without navigating to any other folders so it's a very good tip if you want to access directly a special folder in your FTP. The second tip I want to show you is the maximum of simultaneous transfers. So if I go for example in the edition menu then set in, then I go to transfers. As you can see here, the maximum simultaneous transfers is set to 5, but I can increase that to whenever I want. For example, I can increase it to 8 or 7, and that allows me to download or upload 7 files at once. Of course, that depends on the FTP server that you are uploading or downloading files. So if, for example, I choose 7 here and I hit OK, then, so now I can choose 7 files here for my local PC here, just 7, and I can upload them by just dragging them into the FTP server. As you can see here at the bottom, now I have a total of 7 uploads to my FTP server. So it's a very good tip if you want to upload at the same time different files, different numbers of files. Here I choose seven. Okay. And another tip is login options on FileZilla. Let me see that I want to record all the 
things that I have done. For example, when uploading or downloading files or deleting files, I want to record that in a log file. So I can do that in FileZilla. So I go to my Edit menu, then Settings. Then at the bottom here, there is an option here for login. So I can hit just Show Timestamps in Message Log. And also I check the log to file and they browse in any folder I want to store this file for example here the file I will just store it on my desktop I will just hit save I can even limit its size if I want here I will just leave it by default to 10 and then I hit OK but you have to restart your FTP client so now I connect to my FTP server once again I enter my password and I just transfer a file here or let's say I want to transfer for example uh, this file here it already exists so no problem I will just hit overwrite overwrite so now I'm uploading two files here so if I go to this uh, log directory here I can see here is my log file I can open it using notepad++ for example as you can see I have the time of upload and actually what I have done here as you can see I'm logging as Amin I can even see the files that I have uploaded here so it's very useful log file if you want to keep track of, of what you have done in your FTP server as always I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye!